Welcome, this is Skull from Dink Smallwood PD. And we are gonna start a let's play of Prophecy of the Ancients here. The demons created by Gary Anthony Hurtle. It says it here, and it actually says version 2.01, but it's actually version 2.03. So, yeah. Let's get started. And I wanna point out some things now. I'm not gonna read out the dialogue because I have been told not to. So yeah. And also no topic discussions for this let's play. Because I kinda messed up with some stuff, so yeah, no topic discussions. Uh, this is an epic demod, and uh, if you don't know what epic demod means, it's basically a demo that is as long as the original game, or at least, or even longer in some cases. So this is probably gonna be pretty long. Let's play. And uh, if I remember correctly, this was actually the first epic demo ever. So for me, this demo kind of has shown people that it is possible to make D much as long as the original game or even longer. And yeah. It is quite an interesting D mod. Also I wanna apologize for me and XDeven not posting any videos recently. And it's mainly because XD7 can't get off his ass and start making more parts for Shores. So yeah, not my fault at all, all XD7's fault. Well at least Rob has been posting some videos. And this scene right here, you probably know it, if you have seen the original game. Uh, only this time Mildor is the peak former and Ding is the asshole. So yeah, and I have no idea how Mildor is alive, it probably is because this demon takes place in a different time era than the original game, or most demons. This is not the same timeline as in the original game, this is a different timeline, so yeah, I think that must be it. At least Dean comes back and asks Mildor for a drink. And what was that? A pig disappeared. And an explosion happens. And finally we have some action. And loading. And now Dean and Mildor somehow magically crawl under the wall of their shores. No idea how that happens. Anyway. Now they are in the shores and Mildur's dialogue has turned into purple. For some random reason. And now the world is burning and all that stuff. And a giant explosion happens and... Boom! Guess what happens? Yes indeed, Mildor is dead again. Poor Mildor. He always seems to die in demons. At least in the original game he made it to the very end, but in this demon he just dies instantly. So yeah, Mildor is pretty unlucky. And there is a blue star. And there is a wizard dude that even can't hear what we are talking. It's kinda weird, I guess. So 
So here we get our first hint on about why the demon's name is Prophecy of the Ancients. As you can see, he can't even hear us. What an asshole, dude. And here we go, we finally get started, and we are on this island. And... Yeah. This sign right here says, please don't harm the animals, they are our friends. And there are no secrets on this island, except for one. But we'll come back to that later. And there's a pig. And yeah. And if you didn't get it, Dink is on an. He's kind of in the past, and he has to fix the future. And I'm just gonna save. Let's just say here. And so yeah, if you didn't get that by the intro. And another pig. No humans in this village whatsoever. Although you have probably already noticed that. Unless you're a complete moron. And there are basically nobody in these houses. Everybody is an animal. And you will find out soon why. And this rock right here, it is blocking our way because it is a rock. And last time I checked, Dink can't wall through rocks. And this house right here, this fountain right here, if you drink from it, it heals you. Although I already have full health, so I don't need it yet. What? You can't even... Hit these boxes, but... Okay. Boxes that are unhittable. Very interesting. And some gold. And here's some letters. And I'm not gonna read it out because I suck in English, basically. And the font is kind of hard to read, but you can read it. Basically, it says... Some guy named Shrike had written something like... All the people in the village are turning into animals. And he's the last person surviving, and all that stuff. You can read it yourself. And but I'm not going to read it. And now that we are reading the letter, we can open these pillars and kill all the pillbugs. And man, my sound seems to be pretty low. I can't even hear the hitting sound. Or any sound. Could I increase my volume in the next part? And you wanna kill all these because they give pretty good experience. And they are quite easy. And you wanna level up. Unless if you don't, you are screwed in the upcoming parts. More killing. This might seem boring now, but it r it does pay you later on. Oh man, I had a level up and I was spawning control, so yeah. Anyway, I did want to increase my attack, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, any more pillbox? Oh, here's one. Just smash it, and then we'll go in here. No, nothing in there. I killed all this. Okay. 